going to bounce to you about communication, but in math, mm -hmm. what kind of things do you look for when you're, like you say, you, you want your students to answer questions, what kind of things do you look for in terms of... In, in regard to negative that they don't understand, or that they are picking up Both. Things? Both. Um, like I said, I don't really rely on the student at the beginning to tell me anything. Okay. I always give work out, be it as incredibly okay. simple questions, be it adding, subtracting, things like that. Okay. Um, I'll never engage them that this is easy or this is hard, right. because that implies that it is easy right. and you should get it, and right. if you don't, you're stupid. Right. No, right. I never do that. Um, but basically, I like to see them working. When they're working, you find out if someone's organized, if you find out if someone gets it, because state of panic comes over someone if they don't get it. They're always right. looking around to see if other right. people aren't getting it. Right. So you can find it with one sheet of paper pretty quickly, five or six people, with what they're experiencing. Right. That tells you a lot. That'll tell you that if they don't get it, then I've got to go back and reevaluate right. how I'm explaining things to them. If they do get it, great, we can move on. But there's even if you see one or two people that aren't getting it, you really want to make sure that everyone's engaged and are willing to ask questions. So, so if you give a, a piece of paper and it's, let's say, five questions on it, and a student writes down all the answers, just the answers, you're happy with that because they processed and they been no, able I, to... I'm a huge believer. I like seeing layout. I want to see how they got the answer. It tells me the structure of what's going on in their head. Some people can just compute an answer, but right. I want to find right. out how, what their plan is for attacking that question and how they're solving it. And I always say, I want to be able to look at your answer and it's going to tell me exactly what you did and how you went about solving this problem. Just giving me an answer is nothing better than just punching numbers into a calculator. If you okay. can put it down on paper, okay. and I, for the first time in a, in a long time in their lives, I'm just saying, I make people do as much long-handed work as possible, division, multiplication, because it shows a process. You okay. have to get from A to B. Just typing the answers, a question into a calculator and giving you an answer it doesn't tell you how to do it. If you can understand all your steps, you understand, and if you understand how you got your answer, then you can explain it back to other people that are having the exact same problems. Okay. Do you use a lot of sort of visualization when you're teaching? I do. Everything goes on the board. Okay. I don't try to make people think that they should understand this or shouldn't understand it. Irregardless of what the skill level is, if I think there's one or two people in the class that are working at a lower level, I don't hold people back, but I want to show as much work as possible okay. so that the steps can be understood. Okay. And the use of technology, when you say everything goes on a board, is it a blackboard? Is it a whiteboard? Is it a... Just a whiteboard. Like that. Okay. So, and then... If a student maybe had difficulty keeping up with your your solution, sure. but wanted you know a solution, taking a picture of that whiteboard, is that something you because cell phones don't come out? Is that it's, something? Uh, it's I mean, uh, rules are for etiquette's sake. If okay. if you've got something that where you can use positively, like a picture from a cell phone, if right. they want to take a picture of a board, absolutely, I have okay. no problem with that. Okay. It's not a totalitarian state. Right, it's, yeah, it's, no, just, I, it's, it's constructive. And that's what I mean by I'm trying to encourage them to use it as a tool. Mm -hmm. If you need to take this, a picture of this, absolutely. If you need. If I feel they're just taking a picture of it because they're, they're too lazy to, to write it down themselves, then it becomes just a waste of time because okay. if, they're, if they're not willing to write it down or try to understand the problem, then okay. chances are they're never going to look at that picture, anyways. Okay. 